that's in the air in the gap as well so that will uh, reach the boundary he's looking to hit a lot straight over our Kohli yes the fielders are in the uh, 30 yard circles and looking to take advantage of that but uh, just over the fielder or at mid wicket it's four runs still I think just a hint of desperation there simply because of the earlier overs earlier quiet overs and that's needed oh what a shot this is he's picked the bones out of that and just nailed it down the ground for six just the kind of finish that they wanted 194 for one oh this is a terrific shot by this young man advancing down the pitch giving himself just a little bit of room and he's hit it ramrod straight great stuff inside out wow spectacular work it's that man maxwell sensational stop that and he enjoyed it Outstanding athletic ability here. Just one hand, just clutching it. Knows that he's going to go over the rope. That really was a classic. Like you mentioned, Hedo is getting close to the boundary, gets rid of the ball, and making sure it stays within the line. This time, it's straight. It's flat, and it's six. 200 comes up for India. And Virat Kohli getting a move on. We're witnessing magic here. Brett Colley was looking for that straight boundary right from the start of this over. Picked up the ones, picked, and bang, six. Sensible. Ten runs of the over. 204 for one. Dog. Over the top. Clean as a whistle. He's gone the distance as well. 14 runs of the over. Kohli looking dangerous. India, 2-1-8 for one. That's the top shot. Wow. He is stunned. Shane Watson just back of the lane. And he gets into a great position very quickly without Kohli. Fourth, six for him. Well, he's just punished this. Shane Watson dragging this ball down. Bang! 96 meters of pure joy for Virat Kohli. He's an outstanding touch here. And he's dealing in boundaries. He's at 39. He's got two fours and four sixes with a strike rate of 195. Entertaining a big crowd here. Oh, awesome. Unbelievable batting this. He is making batting look so very simple without Kohli here. No wonder he's rated as the best young player. Oh, this is genius. We are watching something incredible here. We, we just can't take this moment for granted. And we said right at the start, this run chase, that it had to be perfect. Well, boy gee. Can't think of too many balls that haven't been played perfectly. This Big Xiao Yulia, it deserves every bit of it. The 50 of just 27 balls. Sensational this. This third 50 in a row. And again, it's big. It's huge. Kohli. On a roll. 250 comes up for India. Pick the bones out of that. Boy, Jeevy. He said it was going to be dangerous. He likes to go into out. Gave himself a bit of room. Threw his hands through it. 98 meters of solid pain there for Doherty. That's four. 
Just a flick of the wrist. And that wrist away can get that bottom man into play, Virat Kohli. He does that. Smack again on side, being peppered. Consecutive boundaries. And India could well win this game on a canter with overs to spare. It's the second highest run chase ever in the history of a one day game. They're making light work of it at the moment. This is fantastic betting. 66 of 34 deliveries. That's for wides. Goes through the offside with tremendous power. He wants a hundred as well. Well, what uh, entertainment is this? And uh, like I mentioned, he's uh, a terrific all-round player. This is a serious cricketing shot. Bang! Pitch it up. You keep your feel and still pick the gaps. Scramble seam and someone bowling it almost one. He goes inside out. The boat in a hurry. Just to remind our viewers, uh, this is not a reduced game, it's a 50 over game. And India chasing 360. 36 needed of 59. A very good shot, inside out. He knows where his fields are. This time, too long on. It runs every delivery. Whether it's Rohit Sharma or whether it's Virat Kohli. Now that, that has just about got the distance. Yes, it has eventually much more. It seemed when it was in the air that Long Long was in business. He just saw it soar. He's gone right up the front of the plane here. He's flying business class all the way. In fact, first class. Wow. He's been consistent all night. Striking boundaries and sixes all around the ground. And here we see another one roll the way and gee, that record is looking shaky, Harsha. Now he's got this one too. It brings him to 99. He's a very, very special young man, this Virat Kohli. And he's eyeing down this record for sure. I reckon that someone's run this message out to him. They will get the 100. The fastest one day international century by an Indian. It's come in 52 balls. And it has been an absolutely sensational effort. Make no mistake, you're seeing a very, very special player take giant strides in international cricket. It's the seventh fastest 100 in ODI history. <laughs> you right. Just sucking it out. 360 with six and a half overs left. I think you must just gently let that sink in to realize its magnitude. Three magnificent innings, all very different, all unique in their way. But the partnership to set it all up there, Rohit Sharma and Shikhar Darwin, 176 off just 157 balls and then followed up by a dynamic Virat Kohli innings right from the word go, he just took boundaries and fours at will. Well, Xavier Dodi with seven was uh, was the most economical and it's always a bit dire when tenor was none for 70. He's your most economical spell. Mitchell Johnson's last three overs produced 40, none for 68. Clint McCarthy was expensive, very rare off day for Shane Watson. You hardly ever see figures like that for Shane Watson. Glenn Maxwell and James Faulkner. Not, now, normally Faulkner is a pretty steady bowler too. The seven overs, one for 60. Take a snapshot of this, ladies and gentlemen, because you'll hardly ever get to see scorecards like these. 359 for...